welcome back to the channel. Thank each and every one of y'all for stopping in here. We really appreciate y'all clicking on this video. Today, what we're gonna be doing is changing our quail feeders. Our last design, it would work, but we don't have enough room to place our feeders in like we want. Um, we're needing all three pins. I didn't think it through. So the last couple days, I've been thinking of another design. And uh, yesterday was mine and Stephanie's anniversary, nine years married, and before beautiful children. She's a wonderful woman. But um, we went to Lowe's yesterday, we picked up some PVC pipe, and now, hopefully before we run out of daylight, we can actually come up with this uh, new quail feeder that we're wanting to build. I think it's gonna work. Um, I haven't seen it work yet, or I haven't seen anyone have one like this yet. But, uh, but anyways, let's go over here and get started. All right guys, now that we're over here at the quail pen, as you see that we got quails on the bottom, the top, but none in the middle. Um, the feeders, I cannot get another feeder over here on this side. I've got one on the bottom, the top. So this is the reason why I'm changing, changing our feeding to system up. Our automatic waterers over here, we're going to be fixing them uh, as well because it had a leak. And um, so what I'm going to do first, we're going to start off with some uh, three inch PVC pipe. Go ahead and hand me one of those elbows there. Um, so. So the whole concept of this is going to take a little bit of time because I'm still trying to work this out through my head. Um, I've seen it work on paper, but I haven't seen it work in person, but it should. So what the whole concept of this is going to be is the feeders are actually going to go inside here. PVC pipe's going to go inside. We're going to have a small pipe cut out here and then all the way down. So we'll see if it works. I don't know. All we can do is hope and see. So, so as you see that we, we created a couple little holes because I thought this was going to work, um, but we're going to have to change it up. So uh, I'm going to go in here. If we have to, we can put a couple zip ties in there to keep the birds in. Oh boy, I don't know if this will work. Hope so. Don't know. We'll see. We shall see. I think we got this passage. Oh yeah. Okay, it's gonna go something like that. Son, hand me that other one down there. Uh, another arm yeah. thing. Oh, you. There. 
So as you see here is, I don't know if you, hopefully you zoom in here. As you can see, I'm just cutting, cutting these just big enough for these to slide in there. They're going to be a little bit tight, but on this bottom one, I'm going to have to come up with something to block this, these two holes here, so the uh, quail can actually get out. Like I say, these quail pins, quail pins are so hard to keep clean. Uh, we cleaned these a little bit earlier today, and they're just so messy. Quails are messy, ain't you guys? Huh? As you see, I got all three pieces in here now. So what I'm going to do is get the PVC pot now and attach them together and we'll start working on the inside. All right guys, so I'm going to cut this about a, about four inches and for the, uh, the divider piece for each pipe and then we'll move to the bottom and just go by step by step. Like I say, I apologize, it's really windy right now. As you can see, the, the shirt's blowing pretty hard uh, back and forth. It's really windy, so if you hear it, uh, I apologize. Uh, Layton's got goosebumps. It, it's it's really chilly today, but I out here working. We get a little bit warm. We're warm blooded, so we don't always wear coats. But um, as you see, our shirts. These are our friends, uh, Walker Farm Fan. Uh, they're up in northeastern Oklahoma. A great family channel. It's that way. That way, or that way. That way. That way. That's right. Cassie and Gary with Walker Farm Fan, they're an awesome family channel. Um, we, we've met with them a couple times. Um, what you see is what they are. They're, they're truly Christian, godly people that has a great family channel. Their channel is an awesome family channel. Um, I recommend anyone that isn't subscribed or that's got children or just want family content for uh, to sit down and watch their channel will be one of them. Um, we met them here a while back and it has Probably been... Probably like, let's see, did we go in October for the, um, the pig roast? Yeah, I think October or November. October and then we went there on vacation. Yeah, we took a small vacation and met, met them. Did you have fun? Oh yeah. Yeah, we had a really good time. But anyways, um, it's going to get dark on us. So if you're not subscribed to Walker Farm Fan, please go over and subscribe to the channel and tell them Rustic Woodwork and Family sent you. Would greatly appreciate it. And like I say, they're a great family channel and just, you know, absolutely love the content. So let's go ahead and get this started. Got it? The back of it? Okay. Got to hold it tight.
going back and forth. So when yeah. you're going back, go like this down. <laughs> that way you're putting pressure on it. So now um, we got the side pieces here and I got it tilted a little bit because when I put the feeder up top, I'm going to have a small hole there and we'll build the box where the feed just goes down inside of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and start on the middle one. Um, I'm not going to make these very, very long. The whole idea is I'm going to run PVC pipe out to here. I'm going to drill my hose in it. I'm going to clamp everything together. And then we can put a box up here full of feed and it just just put a bag of feed at hold, where to hold a 50 pound sack that way um, they've always got feed. Alright, go ahead and hold that. Alright, let's put that down there. Right at 40 inches. Um, so 40 divided by 3, what would point, that point, be? Point. You need a pencil. So I can draw circles and go until I... Probably about the closest we're going to get is about 13 inches. 13 inches, okay? Okay. Alright, so we're going to put one... Where? That's going to be a little bit more than what we really want. I'm going to put them at about 11. There. Right. Yeah. Alright, let's keep that out there. Put it on the sides. Put 
so they won't have to jump over it. And no, but they'll have a way to. I'll put little holes on both sides. That way they can eat on both sides. Okay. Makes sense? Yeah. All right, you can go ahead and shut that up, and we'll go ahead and cut another piece. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get a drill out and then we'll get ready to start drilling holes on the side of it so the birds can eat from actually both sides. It's probably as low as I'm going to be able to get it to go because of the, the actual uh, thickness of the wall over here. Um, if I have to, I can build a little stool to get up there. And when we get moved to our new place, I'm going to rebuild another one a lot bigger than this. So this is really practice and if I'm doing all this trying these other things out with this pen when I do actually build one for our new house we'll have everything figured out and we'll be good to go and there won't be no mistakes and we are going to be building those pens to last forever so obviously this one is just going to get us by until we uh, actually get moved out to the country and then after we get moved out in the country, we're just gonna have all kinds of animals. <laughs> Three, two, one. I believe I'm going to put two holes on the side, on each side, and that should give them more than enough. We'll try that we'll try this out and see see if this will work if it they're too big of a hose we obviously can get some more PVC pipe and we'll put a we'll put some other stuff in there and make the hose smaller so now do I put it back where it was no just leave it right there right. oh okay say that. So I was wrestling and I'll get that out of here a little bit. We're running out of daylight. So I was wrestling. I thought he would have got kicked out but he kicked he I said kicked me. He um slapped me in the arm while I was wrestling. So when, every time I'm trying to tangle up with him he just gives my arm out of the way and then I do it again and then he pushes it and then comes around and slaps it. Yeah. I'll slow it down in the video. I was really proud of Leighton not retaliating and getting mad and starting fight back, which I've taught him at a young age is win or lose, we're going to walk off there with a smile. We're not going to cry. We're not going to pout because if he wins, he just he just worked harder or he, he worked his moves harder. He got himself in a bind and got caught up in a move. So... Um, that's just the way I, I teach my kids. I don't want unsportsmanlike conduct. I, I can't stand that. I cannot stand uh, poor sportsmanship. So. I'm dead. All right, let's move this over here and get in there. If I... I don't know how I'm gonna do. And then we'll zip tie it up, and then we'll put some feed in it. See if it works. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build a little uh, platform on that. And, And get us 
it's whatever zip tie I'm not going to cement this in because I will probably go back and get a, a longer elbow. That way I can make it actually tilt all the way. And uh, I'm probably not going to cement any of this in until we see how it works. And. So once we figure out if this all is going to work, I will uh, I'll put a box up here that's got um, a little tilt in it to make sure um, that the feed just feeds down to the little hole so it will feed inside the, these actual quill pins and hopefully it will work out the way I got it planned but if not we can always change it up. Okay. Oh, it's getting me. Man, so we help. Uh. You can see me. They're in there. Oh, wow. Right here, fill this up. Put, put me some more in there. Um. Yeah. Looks like it's gonna work, guys. Guess who decided to come outside? She finally get all of her chores done. She finally get all your chores done inside? Yeah. Good job. All right. I'll take this up here and see if this will fill it up now. Right. Well, it does. All right, guys. So I've got a little tweaking I've got to do on it, but the actual quail feed is going inside. I just would like it to uh, push more than what it has inside. So uh, I'm going to see what I got to do to, I don't know, try to make it flow a little better. If you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment box below. Like I said, is this worked out a lot better in my head than it did in the actual pen? Um, I mean, they are still getting quail feed but uh, I want it to push a little bit further. Um, and here's the deal, if it does mess up this side here, I cut too many holes, that ain't nothing. I can just take this gate down and, and put another one up there. That ain't, going, that ain't no issue at all. Um, I know that was what I kind of wondered at first, but it's all gonna be okay. Guys, it's been a wonderful day. Thank each and every one of y'all for watching our videos. Look at them chickens. Look at them. They're over here. Here's another problem we're having. Maybe y'all can leave us a comment. Maybe somebody knows how to fix this. And I know how to fix this. So, one. you see our little chickens here? Or you see the roosters? They're, they're going through here tearing up the ground. And I don't know how we can fix this, but we got to get it fixed or we're not going to be able to let the chickens out anymore. What do you think, Layton? Oh, you just go buy yeah. a bunch of dirt. Huh? Go buy a bunch of dirt and then put seeds in it of grass and water every day. Is there any way we can fix this wonder? Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Dad. <coughs> huh? Did you say um in um 
September, you said three months, and then they'll start laying eggs. Yeah, chicken. we should be getting eggs here pretty soon. We should be getting eggs here pretty soon. Hopefully one of these days we can actually get us one of those automatic door openers where it opens. But until we get that figured out with the dirt, I think we're going to be putting these chickens up. Hold on, baby. All right, guys, we'd like to thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you have not yet, please go check out the Walker Farm Fam. You absolutely love their channel, as we talked about them earlier. Uh, great family channel. So, um, also this concept here, I'll let you know how this works out. I want, to, uh, I want the feed to come out a little bit better, but we'll just see what happens. It'll work for now. So, thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our latest videos. Thank you and God bless you.